an artwork, obviously. Here I create uh, an artwork in Photoshop. In this case, this is a certificate. The reason why I use a certificate as a sample is because it happens to me that many times I get asked to create a certificate. And sometimes it's not just one, it's many. So I figure it'll be easier if they can actually edit PDFs themselves. So in this case, it's a certificate for John Smith. Uh, what we want to make editable in this case is the name and, and the date. Very simple. After you create the artwork, you save them as a PDF. Quick note here, if you are saving this in an InDesign or Illustrator and you save it as an Acrobat 6, once you open it into Acrobat, you will have the ability to hide layers, which is actually pretty useful. All right, so now we have the artwork in Acrobat. What we need to do now is go to Tools, and in Tools you'll see a drawer. In this drawer you'll find Forms, and then you're going to create, you're going to click on Create. By default, Acrobat will recognize your artwork and every time that it sees a line, it will create a field. As you can see, it already created two fields. In this case, we don't need them. So we're just going to delete them by hitting delete. We need to create a new field. So we click here. and we select the area where we want to put the field. We can stretch it as much as we want. And after you have this, double click on it, and it's gonna give you these properties. Just to be organized, we should name this as name, actually, full name. Then we go to appearance, and we select the font that we want to use. In this case, I know that is the font called All English Text. If you're in a Windows PC, you probably have this font already built into your computer. If, if you're in a Mac, like me, you probably need to install it, but it's free, you can find it online. In this case, I know that that font, it's 40 pixels big. Another thing that I know is that I want it to be centered. So I just go to Options, and in alignment, I click on center. And that's that. Now, let's create another one for the date, which goes right here. Double click for the options. In this case, the alignment needs to be left because it needs to be close to the word on. This font is also all the English text. And I believe this is 14 points. I'm not sure though, but we'll see it once we preview it. And that is it. Now you click on preview. And this is exactly what people will see once they open the PDF. They will be able to click and type. Same thing here. Once you do this, actually it's easier to make it look exactly the way you want it. So you click back and edit. Again, you double click. I figure that 40 points is not big enough for this field. Maybe 50 will do better. And you see it right there. 
same thing here. I think 14 points is too tiny, so I believe 18 will do better. And yes, now it matches exactly the, the, the font. Perfect. Once you have this, all you need to do is go File, Save. And that's it. Here's the new PDF editable file. This is exactly what people will see right after they open the file. They will be able to change the name. They will be able to change the date. And most importantly, they won't be able to change the artwork. Thank you for watching. Hope this is helpful. Have a good day.